Welcome to Genesee Country Village and Museum. I'm Sydney. And I'm Adam. We are going to tell you a little bit about what to expect during your visit. Genesee Country Village and Museum shows what life could have looked like in a rural village in upstate New York in the 19th century or in the 1800s. That's 200 years ago. During that time, immigrants settled in the area and new technology was invented in farming and communications. Slavery was abolished during this time too. Cultural groups experienced discrimination and families fought in the Civil War. Our historic village includes homes, trade shops, meeting houses, and two farms. In addition to the historic village, you might also visit the Nature Center and the John L. Whaley Gallery while you're here. And we have miles of trails for exploration and learning about the natural world. On your visit, you might see wild animals like salamanders and turtles, or farm animals like oxen or sheep that are close to the breeds that people would have owned in the 1800s. You will also interact with costumed interpreters. So let's learn about how to get the most out of your time here at Genesee Country Village and Museum. School groups arrive at the Flint Hill Admissions Building. When your bus pulls up, a museum educator will get on the bus to greet you. Your main teacher, the one who registered your group, will get off the bus to check in students and school staff. All adults who are not school staff will get off the bus to purchase their ticket or show their receipt if they already bought one online. And then you, the students, will follow the museum educator to the Great Meadow. Or the Nature Center if that's where your program will be held. One of the first things you'll hear is the rules because rules are important to be sure everyone stays safe and has a great visit and that includes our animals. The rules are stay with your adult at all times and be sure they're first to enter village buildings so the interpreter knows you're with an adult. Whether at the farm or on the trails, please don't touch, chase, or feed the animals. Our farm animals are working animals and not pets, so please be respectful of that. If you're coming for a nature center program, we might invite you to catch or touch critters in the ponds or on the trails, but please wait for instructions before you do. Please do not eat or drink inside the buildings. Our buildings are old, original to the 1800s, and they have lots of artifacts or cool old stuff inside of them that we want to protect. Make sure to stay off walls, fences, and statues. They might not be stable and we don't want you to get hurt. Do ask lots of questions. The interpreters and our education staff and naturalists love it when kids want to know more. And if you're wondering, someone else in your group is probably wondering too. Many groups come and explore the village on their own. We have suggested routes and curriculum guides to help you design your field trip. And some groups register for guided tours in the historic village or programs at the Nature Center. You'll see costumed interpreters throughout the village working in trade shops, on the farm, or cooking in front of a fire. Even though they wear clothing like people wore in the 1800s, they're just like you. The interpreters are not acting as a character or a person from the past. They speak in the present tense and they can help you compare life in the 1800s to life in the 21st century. Genesee Country Village and Museum includes a nature center. Our trails are always open when you're here for a field trip and programs focused on science and nature will use the nature center as their base. Nature center programs are guided experiences that use stations along the trails to explore and learn about the natural world through hands-on experiences. All of our programs from the nature center to the historic village are mostly outdoors. So please check the weather the day before and come prepared. We recommend closed toed flat bottom shoes, sunscreen for sunny days, and jackets, hats, and mittens if it's predicted to be even a little bit chilly. We also recommend a water bottle. If you're eating lunch at the museum, we'll have a des designated location for you to store lunches and to enjoy them. If it's nice out though, I recommend eating outside. Remember, the museum is really big. During the spring, there are sometimes a thousand kids or more visiting us for field trips. During your visit, adults are really important. Adults can help you read the village map to figure out where to go next. They can take a sweet photo of you next to one of our oxen or tapping a maple tree. They can help you throw trash away in the trash can if you can't reach it. They can help you ask questions if you're shy or uncertain. Most importantly though, stay with them at all times. Adults tend to misbehave and we need your help keeping an eye on them. We hope you're excited for your visit to Genesee Country Village and Museum. You can find out more information about the museum, 
enrichments, and programs, as well as see photos at www.gcv.org or by following us on Instagram or Facebook. We'll see you soon.